They say you should know your past in order to understand the present and plan for the future. And as it turns out, the grade 4 class at Mount View Elementary are realizing you don't have to travel very far to explore the history of our world and community. The thing about history is that it connects people to place. The ability to connect with where you live, having a depth of history and understanding a personal connection with that actually creates stronger, confident citizenship in our students. I'm always trying to make learning real and archaeology is all about life from the present to history and prehistory. Everything is covered. I find it a fascinating topic. And it's probably the best opportunity to bring the world into my classroom that I can through Mary Forbes. Perfect. And then the opposite of old. Mary Forbes is a trained and experienced archaeologist who has a passion for both teaching and history. So I worked in the oil patch for six years in the wintertime. And in the summertime, I worked at Parks Canada as an interpreter. And so I've combined those two skill sets to be able to bring archaeology to the classroom. And then there's that disconnect between students and history, that history is boring or it's, there's no connection to me, it happened a long time ago. And as an enthusiastic presenter and an archaeologist, I can combine both of these very exciting things into one presentation and get the kids hooked as young people. And they sure were hooked. From timelines to jellos, Miss Peel's grade 4 students were able to get a glimpse of life as an archaeologist. I would say the enthusiasm was top of the charts. <laughs> they, they loved it. Um, when we did the timelines on the board, it absolutely represented everything from dinosaurs all the way up to present day life. You have got kids hooked because it's everything that ever happened since the beginning of time. A lot of students don't know about archaeology the word archaeology, but they know who Indiana Jones is and they know what paleontologists are because there's so many dinosaur programs on the TV. I want students to come away from these presentations not thinking that the artifacts are cool, which they are, but to realize just how important they are in place, in the story, and the connection it has to all of us. Not only that, but through photos of local buildings and attractions, students were able to understand that archaeology is more than just digging for unique artifacts and dinosaur bones. So by having them recognize places in town, my story gets reinforced every time they see the Station House Gallery, every time they visit the Potato House, every time they go to Barkerville, they will remember that this is a part of the timeline that is connected to all of us across this entire landscape. From Barkerville to Pompeii and even the Titanic, students were enthusiastic about everything. I think my favorite part was learning about like all of the cities that have been like covered up with sand, like Tanis and the sunken city. I didn't really know anything. I thought it was just the same as like the paleontologists. But my favorite part was when they did the timeline and the slideshow because it showed a whole bunch of things. Well, I like the Vikings, like how they made up this song. And it's like a really long song and people remembered it for a really long time. Well, it's at my house and I can't wait till the snow's gone so I can dig there. Um, Cause my dad says there's a lot of shale in our backyard. A lot of places that I've been for underneath my feet there could be like feet down anything. Like you're, you're pretty much standing on history. With a classroom full of budding archeologists, Ms. Peel hopes other experts can take the time to inspire the citizens of our future. For Go in Williams Lake, I'm Christina Jung. Instead of writing the